Good morning YouTube back with another video and I'm just appreciative to Erin Condren for this quote here change your thoughts and you change the world when I saw that when I opened up my planner this morning to do this budget update it just gave me life this morning I'm just appreciative because I need to change some of my thoughts and my mindset this month I did have a death in my family that was really hard for the family and it caused me to have an emotional spending roller coaster, which sent my budget out of whack. It didn't do anything as far as um, our living or anything like that because all of our bills were taken care of. However, when you're going through things emotionally, a lot of times we like to spend. At least I do. I'm an emotional spender. So we'll talk about that briefly, but very briefly. But let's just jump into the budget and see where we are now. Currently this month I made over $9,000 that was due to a substantial deposit. My husband made over four. Then I had child support for, what's that, about $800. So the total income here is $14,546.10 for the month. Um, if you watch my mid-month review, I went through most of the expenses that had already been paid, which was many of our household expenses here. The only difference is that Hulu was up by two cents and then our Verizon still hasn't come out, but it's on automatic payment and it's a prepaid account. So this amount shouldn't vary much from this dollar amount. So for household living expenses, we're at $1,767.11. Um, I know my budget's really messy. It's annoying me as well. The fact that I keep writing over stuff and having to correct things. But at the same time, I'm wondering if it's easier just to let the pennies fall where they may, especially with things like the two cent here for Hulu and such, because those are at the end of the month after I've pretty much consolidated all of my payments for the month. And I'm getting ready to do the next month in review and try to set up October's budget. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments on that one. However, the big changes here definitely is our debt payments. If I can zoom in here, here we go. So this month, um, I initially did $385.58 on my car by the mid month. And then I decided to put another $218.19 on my car payment. Um, my husband did $559.03 on his, my Ashley furniture. As I mentioned, I overpaid it to $125, and that's just because I have these set up to have it paid off by the end of the month. All of the money is already sitting into our primary checking where all of our bills are paid throughout. So it's completely paid off as far as the money sitting in the account, and I'm just paying it each month in increments. Don't know why I want to do it that way, but it just was easier and I set them up automatically too so I didn't want to go back and correct the automatic payments and I set this up before I got the windfall of money this month so I didn't expect for my income to be nine grand this month it just was um my husband's LASIK this is already set up as well um 175 then my credit card, I had 250 and then I changed it and said I was going to do the 675 on my card and the 250 on his card. Well, with the windfall of money, I ended up paying $2,500 on my card to pay off my credit card in full. Then I turned around with my cousin's funeral for travel for me and the kids and then just shopping, just retail therapy. Then I ended up putting another seven hundred and fifty dollars on there so that's supposed to be a negative seven fifty and i do have the money to pay this off right now if i choose to but it's not going on my credit card till the next month statement pretty much so i have till like the 24th of october to pay this so i'm just waiting to see how our income looks for october and then i'll just pull it out of the savings account where we have some money set aside for various things and then i'll pay it then on my husband's car, as I stated, these two numbers were going to swap, so I was supposed to pay two fifty, and I ended up paying two seventy six twenty five on his card. And then on my student loans, I paid one fifty eighty five to pay off one of the small ones, and then I turned around and paid another one forty two seventy one. Um, 
I will have to do a video on my student loans because they're so substantial. I have so many and it's so ridiculous. But um, that will come later explaining all of this craziness here. So at the time I had paid $4,171.71 in debt. But if you subtract out the $750 here that went back onto that card, then I'm really down by $3,782.61. So, um, yeah. So, total, this would have been the total of the monthly expenses plus the um, amount paid for debt here. So, that's where that $5,938.80 comes but because this changed and varied numbers are so wrong this month. As for my groceries, my kids and I were gone all last week. And so I only had two weeks worth of groceries from the mid month. And then I spent another $74 and 61 cents at Walmart. Look how small this receipt is. Do you see this? 74.61 just on a little bit of stuff. And that was for my husband's meeting with his friends they had to do some studying for something that he's doing and they came over to the house and I wanted to have like the fruit tray and veggie tray but I had just got back in town at three in the morning and they were coming at five in the afternoon but I was tired after a 10 hour drive okay one person 10 hours three kids yeah was not a good day to do it but he had already scheduled it so I just went with it um, restaurants were definitely over due to travel. Kids are over. This is due to um, a little bit of travel because I caught some like t-shirts and socks and things on sale when I was at home. So I just racked up on them. But um, also over due to my daughter's t-ball equipment and such because we're doing that. And then with my son's football, we ended up buying t-shirts with his um last name and then the year he graduates and his school and all of that on the t-shirts as like a booster club thing so that was a lot and then my daughter also had a school fundraiser called a fun run where you donate a dollar or two dollars per lap that they run so donated to that so a lot of donations going different places and things which not mad about or whatever we had the money to do it so it's no big deal my household went over because I was getting things before I left and as I stated I was emotionally shopping so I have no clue how much I spent on it but I'm pretty sure we have tissue and paper towels for days the miscellaneous category of course went over and that's just due to the unexpected travel for being with my family and attending my cousin's memorial service and such in back home in Iowa yes I'm from Iowa so let's try to zoom back out here we go so this month yeah income was amazing I'm thankful and blessed to have had such a great month as far as income especially considering I quit my job last month so it was kind of like thank you lord right on time right but um I thank God for just blessing me to be able to have a decent income even without working and then for my husband to have a nice income as well to be able to support us so that I don't have to work and also appreciate my son's father for taking care of them and sending their monies to help with them so here's my budget and sorry it's all over the place and messy but that's kind of how my month was um I plan on setting up my October budget here soon so you will be getting that video either today or tomorrow because I have not started it really kind of but not really so I have to do my spread and figure out how I'm going to lay it out which I do like this layout only thing I think I'm going to do differently is take out this section here my problem areas because I fail every time every month epic fail um and so I am going to try and do the cash envelope system, which let me grab that. Let me show you what I got. So $16 at Walmart. You can get this. You can get a whole little safe, right? And so it's got the safe. So you open it up. It's just like 
I work at a grocery store or something, you know, just like a cash register. So I have my stacks of money here with different denominations and such. And so I plan on just pulling out a little bit for groceries here. And then I will be starting my cash envelope system and able to pull out money for anything that I need. And then also have a little bit of money on hand for anything that the kids need for school and field trips and such like that um in these little baggies actually is like my change they were sitting up here but because we traveled and i wanted cash on hand while i was traveling because i was going to try to do the kit trip like all cash and just cash flow it then i had the change and i put them in the little ziploc bags thing that happened was i put it all on my credit card why I didn't have to or do have enough money in here to cover the credit card expenses that I did incur. I just didn't. So that's the story on that. Sorry it took so long. And um, I will try to keep my video shorter. But thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed my frugal, not frugal, trying to get my life together September budget. And so here's a glimpse at what my September looked like and I just have given up this last week probably will go back to the grocery store one last time even though I'm going to try to cook everything out of my fridge and freezer to not alter these numbers too much but in October I will do better I promise so thank you for watching and for supporting my channel Hope you all are blessed and wish you all well. Bye.